Kendra said, Lord, Kendra says, this didn't end well. Single mom to six kids. All right with the six for six. It's a two top on the six for six. Things went left when I asked for her contact information. Girl, what? Hey, what's your name? Hey. Melissa. Melissa, where are you calling us from? I'm California. What part? Clovis, Fresno. Fresno, how old? That last girl was from there too, California. Shout out to Cali. Um, I am a home health care agency owner. I have a small little business. Home health care owner? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, my. Don't. <laughs> Melissa, California, Fresno, 41, home health care owner. Do you have any kids? I do. How many kids? I have two at home. Yeah, more than two outside. I do. I do. I have six all together. You gave birth to six children? I did. I gave birth to six children. Okay. What are your kids' age? <laughs> yeah, I have my thing. 23. Um, my youngest is 10. So from 23 to 10. Every 10 I years. 23. 23, <laughs> 23, 22, 21, 23, 21, 18, 16, 15, and like no 14 <laughs> almost 14 are they all by the same man no ma'am kendra even though the last girl did have them all by the same man so we won't give um zabrina credit for that child the same white man shout out to the white people how many men four four <laughs> men have you ever been married <laughs> another woman <laughs> childish Children, kids, raising kids. <laughs> my daughter's over here. Hi, Kalia. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have my daughter here while I'm over here talking on Kendra G. Trying to get on a dating show. Yeah, girl. We got stuff we can share together, girl. Yeah, girl. Come on, girl. Yes, it's go, sis. Yes, it's go, sis. I can't take it. <laughs> Melissa, have you ever been married? I have not. Why don't you marry any of the men you had kids with? Mm, girl, I was young, dumb, and no, none of them are, no. Every single man was a problem, and she was young. This woman, 40-some-odd years old. I think she said 41, but she was young, dumb, ready for some fun. She was, she was testing that D out on four different men and got all these kids. But, you know, it's all that. Woo, woo, woo. Sorry, y'all. That's my phone. But it's all their fault. It's all Jermaine fault. It was them. They was this. They was that. They, yeah, you was taking all that D, though. You was taking all that pleasure from all them men. Mm-hmm. You was dumb. I don't know about the young. They were not marriage material. And I probably wasn't marriage material at that time either, so I'm not even going to cry. <laughs> so are four of them that you had children by, none of them were marriage material? You know, my last one, my longest relationship with him, but it was just very toxic. We were just young and I wasn't in a place to really work on my issues with him. He had a lot of issues, generational trauma, you know, and it's just better to, we, it's just better that, yeah, we just not. Word vomit, word vomit, word vomit. All these women is living out here like they're freaking 14-year-olds, 13-year-olds, 10-year-olds. Sorry for the insult to those ages. And now everything is an effing joke. Everything, something wrong with them. They the problem. We just didn't. He was toxic. He was this. He was that. He. But you out here making kids. And we don't see what the effing problem is. We don't see what the same problem is in all these stupid ass stories, all these stupid people coming on here looking stupid. It don't matter what color they are. These are all stupid stories. You are not young. You, you knew the first time. All right, I'll give you the first time. But then the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. And no, you are. are, are OK, you are horny. That's what it is. You was attracted to, some, to somebody probably because they got pretty hair and bow legs. That's probably what it is. And these people don't care about these damn kids. That's why we got the problem that we do today. And nobody seems to want to stop it, talk about it, discuss it, figure it out, nothing. And then the asses go to jail and we supposed to care. We don't. We do not. Stay the F away from us. Do something with your kids. Yeah. Do you want to get married now or are you not looking for that? Um, No, I mean, I'm open to being married for sure with the right man, for sure. Well, what would you say to the guy that would say you have four children's dads um, and that might be cautious because of that? Well, I mean, that's fine. I'm 41. I mean, we, we live, we learn, you know. I was in relationships with all of them, you know, like 
show me a person without skeletons in their closet, you know, and I give you a million dollars. So, girl, you ain't got one dollar to give nobody. It ain't got nothing to do with skeletons in your closet. It has to do with the fact that you just out here effing for free. You have no standards. You do not care. You require nothing. And now you're out here talking about, I don't care. Oh, you don't know. You are not sure about anything. You're childish raising children. And that's why we have the problems that we do. I'm a bet. I'm going to go out on a limb. I could be wrong. I ain't seen this. Black men. Okay. Okay. All right. So Melissa, okay. When's your birthday or Zodiac sign? I am a Virgo. Virgo. So let's do it. This is I'm Melissa Virgo. Virgo, Fresno, California, 41, owns her own home health. You're a home health owner. Yes. I'm a home health care agency owner. Okay. You have six children, correct? Yes, ma'am. This is a personal question. You actually don't have to answer it, but I'm going to ask you. Um, are all your children's dad, are they by Caucasian men, African-American men? <laughs> <laughs> all my children are mixed, yes. Woo! Go, Michonne. You go, girl. Go, Messi. It's your birthday. Go, Messi. It's your birthday. Not that that was too hard to figure out. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, they're all mixed. Yes, we know. We know. So, black men, you got to take this L because y'all went and F this heifer and said, oh, yeah, she good for the culture, even if it's pook nug. Looking bad, too. This the best that y'all could do? Come on now. I need somebody to answer for this, all right? She goofy. Now, listen, she got a decent door back here because I can kind of see it, but this is all basic. Look at this, this, this light here. This is probably an apartment. Girl, I'm going to need her to do better. I could be wrong, but ain't even no color going on. Nothing special. Nothing on the walls. Nothing. Nothing. Apartment. So you have four So four men, and they were all African-American? Um, one is Panamanian. One is Panamanian. And one's Alaska Native. Oh, so there's just two black men and then? Well, my oldest son, he's Alaska Native, black and white. Um, but he, you know, he looks like me. And then my two who have the same father, they're African American. And then my son, um, is Panamanian. And then my two who also, my last two, um, they're just African American and white. Got you, got you. Okay. Where the hell do pandemaniums come from? What is that? Hold on. Pandemanium. Pandemanium? <laughs> Saying pandemanium is a song. Panamanium, pan, panamanium. Spanish are people identify with Panama, a transcontinental country in Central America. Okay. All right. So Spanish descendant, I guess. All right, girl. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. We be learning over here, y'all, because I didn't know. I didn't know. I told y'all, I am not the smartest tool in shit. I'm open to all races, though. I'm not one of those. Girl, we know. Girl, we already know. Anything goes. <laughs> I can't. You know, no, I'm open to all. Treat me right. Treat my kids right. You know, we're good. I've never been one of those type of people. I only date African-American men. Nope. It's just happened. To, I'm from Oakland, so <laughs> just happened. <laughs> Okay, got you. Let's get into it. So Melissa, Fresno, California, 41. She owns her own home health care. She's a home health care owner. Six children. Um, they are pretty much grown. The youngest two are 10 and 14. Ele Gosh, how old? I'm so nervous right now. Um, 13, almost 14, and then 15, almost 16. Those are the two I have at home. All right, so what kind of man are you looking for, Melissa? Um, somebody who is kind, I guess all of the, you know, normal things, but just somebody who can accept, you know, me and my kids, um, somebody who has their stuff together. I'm not asking you to be perfect. I'm not perfect. I don't care if you have stuff in understanding with that. Wait, we went, um, out, we went out for one second. So just pick yeah. it up for the things that you desire. Um, so just somebody who, you know, is understanding, where did you guys leave off? Cause that was a lot. <laughs> So just okay. So when it's understanding, you pick it up. My mouth is dry. I'm nervous. So let me drink water. <laughs> Someone that's understanding. Yeah, understanding. Um, I don't care how much money you make. Uh, I mean, like I'm very, you know, well, not well off, but I 
handle my business and I'm able to take care of, you know, myself and my kids. So I just ask that you bring the tape, you know, that I have, you know, um, I'm not looking, you know, sugar daddy would be nice, you know, but no, I'm joking. <laughs> kind of a little bit. What's sugar daddy going to do with her? What's a sugar daddy going to do with her? Girl, you ain't kind. I'm joking. Kind of. We knew you wasn't joking, child. We already knew. No. Wait, do, okay, let's go. Do you want a man that makes more money than you? Uh, you know what? To be honest, you know what? This is crazy that you're bringing this up because my last relationship um, that I had, that was actually an issue for me. But I also, that was, you know, 10, 10 years ago. So I was a different place and I wasn't making as much money as I'm making now. And I really wasn't as, um, I guess, confident in my ability to earn money. Now, fast forward, you know, me being 40 and I have my own business and I'm, you know, I think I'm, I understand money a lot better now. So I'm not intimidated by it. You know, maybe you could show me how you were able to make that much money. And then, you know, so no, I'm not intimidated by that. No, but I don't, that's not a necessity. I don't need that. No. But if you want to teach me how do you made some more money than me, then let's do it. But yeah. What's some deal breakers for you? Um, abusive, um, just somebody who can't see outside themselves. Um, uh, somebody who's not on like a spiritual path of growth and self-development, that's huge. You know, What does that have to do with anything? And what is she saying? Word vomit, word vomit. All I hear is word vomit. I can't do it. Please like the video. Thank you all for being here. Please go ahead and hit the like button. Please, please, thank you. So if you have, you know, um, generational trauma or childhood trauma that you need to work on, work on that before you, you know, I don't, I don't need any of that, but, um, I don't, I don't really have too many deal breakers. I mean, man, I'm like on the spot. I honestly didn't even think I was going to like get on here. Um, <laughs> Does he have to look a certain way? Uh, no, no, I don't. You know, I don't really have a, um, I don't really have a look. You know, I, I don't know. The men out here haven't been very attractive, but you know, I guess. Damn, she said you ninjas look a mess.com. You ain't good to look at. Ain't got nothing to look at. Y'all look a mess.com. Cause she looking good over here now. She got it going on. Come on, girl. Let's go. When you know, you know. Like when you're attracted to somebody, you're attracted to somebody, you know. Like, I don't know. You could be country. You could, I don't know. It doesn't matter really. Like, okay. <laughs> you want the country? Now, is there a dollar minimum amount he has to make? Mm, no, like I said, like I want to put how much money I make, but nothing. Like I said, I guess just be able to be self sufficient, you know, and and make sure you know that you're able to just handle your business, and like we can go on you know trips, or you know you're not always asking me for money, you know, like. Um. Lord have mercy, you ain't never lied, Lou Casey. She is an entire run on sentence, girl. If you don't use some periods and some commas and STFU and Kendra, cut her off really have like a dollar amount maybe all I right should. well let's do the kendra cam uh-oh uh-oh they want to see the kendra cam <laughs> i'm not Look, you have a great shape me thank you thank you yeah. thank you thank you okay we'll see you. all right so <laughs> melissa when was your last relationship mm, um my last relationship was in 2019 in 2018 okay so that, yeah. that was like, I think you did mention that. So you said about what? Yeah, it was like right. It was kind of like a situationship that lasted for like seven years, um, and then. Damn, not a seven year situationship. What in the hell? Oh, she was young though. All right, situationship for seven years when she was young. Got it. The last time I was ever intimate with anybody was with COVID. You know that happened. COVID took over, and it was like, oh. So you haven't had sex in three years? Yeah, since April of twenty twenty. Okay. Are you waiting for anything in particular? <laughs> I guess for somebody. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't. I, I I work so much, and I just have been so focused for the last few years on my kids, and just really like elevating myself and my mind, and just getting myself together. That I really have lost, kind of like not that desire, but I don't know. I just look at relationships different now. You know, I'm just out there like sex is whatever. You know, I mean, you know. Okay. I got so yeah, I got six kids, so I've been there done that. <laughs> okay, you've been there done that. This Melissa Fresno, um, why do you think you're single? Because I just don't get out and do anything or talk to anybody or you're shaking your head. Yeah, my daughter is shaking her head. She can yeah, I just I just am so like I work from home, my business isn't from home, you know, I'm either here in California or in Alaska and 
Yeah, so that's why. Okay, and why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Because I'm, <laughs> I'm a snack, my daughter said. <laughs> Girl, just answer the damn question quickly. That's what she said. <laughs> um, I don't know, like, because I, I've come from a lot, you know, and I've been able to really build myself. I, I bring a lot to the table, come from adversity to be able to build my own business. I used to be homeless when... You know, I was younger, I was homeless and pregnant. So just being able to um, stand on my own too, um, I'm, you know, just, I'm me, you know? So what's not to love? <laughs> oh, what's not to love, y'all? Look at that. She's just her. <laughs> she is snack according to her daughter. <laughs> she can definitely keep a conversation going or maybe she'll overtake the damn conversation. Let's do it. Oh, Melissa, what's the age range you would date? Um, okay, we had actually talked about this before. So we had said 37 to 70. <laughs> so she discussed this with her daughter is basically what she just said. I'm going to discuss my relationship life and who I'm going to look at, what I'm going to do with a man with my daughter. Got it, sis. Got it. That's okay. You know, whatever. <laughs> You'll go all the way to 70. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm willing. Hey, age is just nothing but a number, right? Okay. And I'm assuming you don't care if he has kids. No, I don't I don't mind. But you know what? Like I don't know, like at this point, like if I you know, I think it I'm open. I'm open and if it's right, it's right. You know, no, I'm saying it. if the guy can have kids already. If he if he has kids already, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like I think like being somebody's stepmom is, is is a lot to take in, you know, and that's like not a that's not an easy role to step into. You know, I'm open for it for the right person. Well, you have for sure. would have to accept. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. I hope it would be like open for the right person. You know, like I'm not against it at all. But like if they're young kids, you know, like I don't know. It's just I, I, it's just something that we would have to talk about, you know, like you know, and I, and it's hard for me too, you know, to have somebody in my kids is like, Lord, yes. Cut her off child. Cut her off. And well, why would your children's dads? Um, my, my last two kids dad hasn't seen them for, I don't know how long he pays child support and that's pretty much it. So it's not, you know, my other, my other are, we're fine. We get along great, but my last, my last child's father, no, we don't. I'm asking because would there be drama for the new? Oh guy? no, there's no drama at all, at all. There's none. <laughs> yes, yeah, what they all say. Remember the first dad or the second story that we did with the dad going, uh, pregnant girl came around the corner and just S H O T the other pregnant girl. Mm -hmm. We don't have contact, so that's kind of how that goes. But no, okay, all right, Melissa, let's do it. How do you? Oh, um, does the guy got to be in Fresno? No, no. Like I said, I go back and forth to Alaska and, and California, or yeah, Alaska, California. So don't really like. Does he it have to pay rich. for you to come visit him if he's not in Fresno. No, I could pay my own way. <laughs> yeah, you can pay your own way. Let's do it, Melissa. How you want the guy to reach out to you? Um, I am Melissa, or is that my Instagram? I don't know. But Melissa, if you if you search me up, I'm very unique. M E L Y. Girl, Melissa is one of the most common names in the world. We're gonna need more than just Melissa. Um, M E L Y S S A. So I am. I Melissa. know girls that yeah. are spelled it's that unique. way. It's unique. Tell me another person that you know to start their name like. Is it Melissa like Ford? I think Melissa Ford. Oh, you know what? You're right. But that's why me and her, that's so unique, too. And how many million Melissas are there? I mean, that guy say something, right? Well, you're telling me if I just Google Melissa, if you I will Google, find yeah, you. Yeah. I am Melissa. I am Melissa. Yeah, I am Melissa at Instagram. Let, let, yeah. Wait, I want to test this theory, though. So I'm going to Google your name. And oh, see well, I can't really give you my last name, and then I'll pop up, I guess. It well, you said that. Just, yeah, Melissa Ford. This is, the, this is the girl that comes up when you put in Melissa. Yeah. Okay. So how do you want the guy to reach out to you? I am I am Melissa at Instagram. That's my Instagram name. Oh, I am I Melissa? Yeah, I am underscore Melissa. Child, let me see. Um, I okay, am... I am like, I am underscore Melissa? I, I, yeah, I believe it's I am underscore M-E-L-Y-S-S-A. -S -S Can't find everybody? her. This is too much. Yeah, I am underscore M E L Y S S A. It should be it should be that. I am underscore M E L Y S S A. Y S S A. Yes, ma'am. Yep. No, this girl comes up when you write that. It's this girl. No, that's not me. Yeah, that's not you. It's, hold on one second. I guess you're learning that your name is 
it's not as unique as you thought. Hey, I guess you learn something every day, but it's still only one Melissa, only one me, baby. So, <laughs> well, Google doesn't agree with you. Well, there's only one Melissa and seven billion people. It's me. That's me. What? What? Like, what is she talking about right now? What is she talking? I I put it in, and it comes up several names of Melissa that spells it this way. Like, you sound like a fool. So we can clearly see now why she's alone and you got all these kids by all these men because then you start to act like the biatch that you're now showing that you are. You're going to sit up here and be upset with Kendra because she you don't even know your damn Instagram name. Just give the damn name. You can't just be I am Melissa. There's like four to five people that show up and they all black. I am underscore Melissa, black. I am Melissa, black. Spelled the same damn way. All these women are black. And the white woman is not you because she looked good. So she over here being combative and being a biatch for absolutely nothing because she don't know her damn Instagram name. That's what it is, girl. Face the facts. Your old ass don't know what's going on. And I'm not necessarily blaming that, but you're being combative for what reason now? Because you don't know your Instagram name. But somebody's supposed to come out here and 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 take you up with all your kids. Are your kids? What is it? Six of them? I know most of them are grown, but still. Shout out to my squeegee kid friend. Laugh out loud goes on a dating show, and now no guys can't hit her up. Exactly right. So you just came out here and gave Kendra all these views and additional views on her highlight, looking like a complete damn fool. Well, the guy so that's right is I. It's I am underscore underscore. So it's two underscores. Ooh, child. Well, you know, we have to all live in our own worlds. Um, right. <laughs> right. 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 What? Right. 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 What? What's right? What? Right. What are y'all saying? Right to nothing. No, say it because you came on my show, and this is supposed right. to be an but easy question. Be shady for nothing, we over here. I'm not being time. shady. First of all, I'm not being it's shady. Okay. First of all, if I want to be it. shady, I, I could have been shady. Okay. 10 minutes ago. Yeah, you want to hang up? Now let me get into it. I was not being shady. If I wanted to be shady, I could have been shady after all the damn shit you gave me. I asked you how many kids you had. You wanted to lie and said I have two at home. Well, how many kids do you have? But we kept that going. It is what it is. The last and final question is, how do you want somebody to reach out to you? You the one that said Melissa is, you don't want it only. Well, Melissa Ford, who is a black woman, is the first person I think of when I think of Melissa. And I was right. When I went to Google, spelled that way, Melissa Ford came up. Then all I'm trying to do, damn it, is get you the contact information. Now I see why you didn't settle down with none of the men you had kids with, because they probably didn't want to settle down with you. If you want to play the shade game, we could play the shade game. If you do not know, I was very kind to you. Now, all I needed to know, girl, was how the hell you want the man who was watching to reach out to you. But you felt yourself. You was very cocky. And you had to learn that, sorry, you are probably the last Melissa that we thinking of. Okay? Now, I was trying to roll with you. So, you played yourself. I ain't play you. You played yourself. Child. And I already know when you said exactly. That's why I knew there was somebody talking about me. But don't talk about me in the corner. Talk about me to my face. We can have the conversation now. We can break it down. Don't be shade in the corner with one of your kids. I don't know if it was the 22-year-old, the 21-year-old, the 18-year-old, the 16-year-old, the 14-year-old, the 10-year-old, the 13-year-old. I don't know which kid it was. But we have six to choose from. Chow. Chow. <laughs> ah, shout out to Kendra. I got to give her her props on that one. Yo. Yo, Kendra read her for filth. She better go. That's the best Kendra G read ever. She absolutely right, Kendra. You be letting these people get away with too daggone much. 
Kendra, you be letting them get away with too daggone much. You need to shut that shit down sooner, but I love it. Read all them kids' ages. She out here tramping it up, talking about I was young, trying to act like she black and all that other foolishness, and she can't even give her own damn Instagram name. She can't even give up her own damn social media. Looking half damn crazy, but she out here this whole time talking about she gonna blame this one, she gonna blame that, she gonna blame of the four baby daddies for her problems. No, she's an idiot, and she's somebody said uh, um her daughter is her um what is it um daughter wife I think is what you said. She got her best friend basically is her daughter, whichever one it is, which is inappropriate. She is inappropriate, and that's why she ain't got nobody, and all she got is a wet ass and a bunch of kids. And that's all it's going to be. She ain't going to marry nobody. She's going to be wherever she is with her kid there to hype her up. She can't even do something that she needs to do to get what she wants. You actually, I'm going to give you props, Kendra G. I'm going to give you props. You needed to read her for filth because they thought they was daggone slick in the daggone corner. Shout out to Miguel, sister mama. She All she got is her daggone daughter in the background. She ain't got nothing else going on. I don't care what her body look like. Her attitude is nasty. The way that she act is nasty. The way that she present herself is childish. I was young. Show me somebody that ain't got no skeletons and I give them a million dollars. No, that's not how that works. No, that's some foolishness, modern woman bullshit. And that's why she where she at. Grade A apartment with nothing going on but a bunch of kids and a bunch of baby daggone daddies. And she ain't going to get nothing. And then people going to talk about her because I'm definitely going to clip this out and talk about her too. So shout out to you, Kendra G. I'm going to give you your daggone props for that. F that. Oh, child, like she just said, you sitting up here acting like you all that because your name is Melissa. Girl, everybody name is Melissa and John, girl. Shut up. Sounding half damn stupid. Mm, mm, mm. But I love that Kendra Reed. I'm a, I love that Kendra Reed. It's about damn time. Girl, start cutting these people off too. You allow her to waste. This was a 16 minute video. You allow her to waste 16 minutes of your life in order to end like that. Mm, mm, mm. So she's still going to be over there alone with her daughter. Because this will, this will definitely be seen by enough daggone people. I was over here trying to pull her up. Her name is not coming up at all. I'm Melissa. It's all black women. It is all a black women. And she said, go to the bottom. She ain't even at the bottom. Girl, ain't nobody taking all this time to be looking for you and your six kids and your four baby daddies and your grade A apartment. Not, not near one. Nobody. Mm -mm. Not near, near nobody. Nah, nah. Mm, mm, mm. The audacity of these B.I.s. Play with me if you want to. Let me tell you Ooh. something. I don't start none, but I know how to finish it. 